Go ahead and get the before shot. This is before. This is the after shot. To this. Shit, man, I need a mirror. Why? I just wanna check myself. I fly. Who your style is? Why I dress myself? Hoes ain't shit. Shit, man. I'm tryna impress myself. Only nigga I care about is I, me, 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 myself. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? It's Nate Matthews, and I'm back again with another one. Looking a hot mess. I purposely haven't been cutting it because I wanted to go ahead and test out these new trimmers. If you guys haven't seen the review on this and a little bit of my acting, um, go check out the last video and check out the unboxing of this and what comes in the box and everything. I haven't never even tried them at all, just turned them on to hear how they sound. A lot of people ask me, how do you grow your beard in full? How do you do this? How do you do that? What's your routine? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple pictures on screen. You guys can see my journey of this beard thing. It never, you know, used to be full like this. I never tried to grow it full. Um, I used to just have a little chin strap or I would cut all the sides off and just have hair on my chin. Um, then over time, I just decided to let it grow. And um, I've told you guys plenty of times, I do have like slow growth spots right here on the side of my lip. See how this goes up? If it was going straight, it would be like that. There's no hair under here. And same thing on this side. So it's kind of like just genetics, guys. If you're going to grow a beard, you're going to grow one. Um, I'm pretty sure there's things you can do to help and make it grow faster and more full. Um, I'm not sure how to do that because I don't do that. Alright, so these are the two combs that I have right now. This is a regular one from Walmart. It comes in a two pack for like two bucks or something. You can find these at the dollar store. People said, you know, it, it combs through their beard like butter. I actually think that's a lie. Um, I still, well maybe because mine is just so long, but I've actually still had naps in my beard. Regardless if I'm using this $10 one or this 75 cent one. So, guys, I don't really think it matters, but if you want to be like... Um, all the popular beard people on YouTube, they do have this one, which is why I grabbed it, but I don't really know the benefits. I guess it's just micro things in here that you can't see that will eventually mess your beard up. But from what I've noticed, when I'm coming through this, I still see hair in the sink. It still comes out with this. So if you want, go ahead and save your money and just get any comb. But what you need to actually invest in are the clippers. So I've got three pairs of trimmers. These are my newest ones. These are the wall detailers. It's got the TY blade on it. Um, very powerful rotary motor. And we're going to give those a shot. Alright, so now that I wet my entire face, trying to loosen up the hair, we're going to go ahead and use the comb. Alright, one thing that I think I should mention about beard maintenance is take your time. Take your time or you're going to mess up. You're going to be very upset when you put a patch in your beard that you've been growing for a long time or you're at least trying to grow and you're going to have to start over. So, so here we go. Get it started. Under the neck first. Alright, so I think I got the hardest part out the way, which is the side of the face. Um, that's the part you really cannot see. I'll be going kind of cross-eyed, trying to look in the mirror like that to get right there. These things are really, really, really sharp. Um, so it's going to take some uh, a little while to get used to not having to press them so hard. But yeah, if you can see that right there, put a line right into my head. The body has gotten a little warm. Not too warm, I can still hold them, obviously. But the other ones, I don't think I've ever noticed that they've warmed up on me. These ones got just a tad bit warm. Now we're gonna get the mustache. I'm so used to the other ones, it feels weird kind of holding these. And like the balance seems like it's a little bit off. So I am being very cautious, putting these close to my face. It feels like I'm using like actual razor blade. Like these are that sharp. You're gonna want to get some practice in if you're barely learning how to be a barber. Um, I don't know if I would suggest these for your first clippers. These are actually my third pairs of clippers. And this is my first time using them. So I'm still trying to get adjusted to it. But for your first time, no. Don't get these for your first one. That's my suggestion. So if you mess up, I told you so. Usually I cut in real deep in my beard, but I kind of want to see if it I can get it to grow like, you know, right under the lip. I don't want it too much in my way, which is why I was always cutting it down here. But um, I think it would look better if it was like actually, you know, parallel, going straight like that. 
popping out versus going in, down, and then straight down. I'm gonna leave it like this for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sides down just a little bit, get these little loose ends. And it is pretty long on the sides too, guys. Look at that. Now, if you guys know, if you've seen my rest in peace video, these are not working right now. I think I found the solution though to get them fixed. But bad news for now, this guard that I used to trim down my mustache, which is which is a two, is not included in these clippers and these are T-wide blades so it's not going to fit on the blade. I'm just going to go ahead and get this one and a half and give it a shot. I'm going to hit the side a little bit more. It's bothering me. It's not really even with this side. I don't think. What y'all think before I mess it up. There we go. See, I can tell. I just cut off barely like two tiny pieces of hair, and it just looks so much better to me now. You guys probably won't be able to tell, but yeah. I want to be able to fade my beard in, but I do not want to mess it up. So I only do this practice right here and try to fade it, blend it right here, make these two meet. I hold my hand right here, so I know if I do mess up, I'm not going to go past this line right here. I'm holding my finger right here, so the clippers are going to hit my hand before they cut off any hair below that point. What we're trying to do with these guards and... uh Techniques here is knock this line out. And then just tap it right there, knock the line out. And there we go, no more line. All right, so what I'm trying to do now is make my, uh, the afro pretty much pop off my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess because like I said, this is how it grows naturally. Just like, as long as this, as long as the hair is growing right here on my face, it grows like that up here too, I have to blend that off. I just like it longer down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna uh, comb it out, make it as puffy as I can get it, and cut some of this excess off. I'm not gonna fade it in, but just the little pieces that are sticking out like this, cut them off and make it look a little uh, smoother. But I'm pretty much just gonna glide on right on the outside of the beard and just tap it. Just tap, shape it up. And this is what I look like after I'm done cutting my own hair. So, um, yeah, this is another trick I used to save money, man. Instead of spending all this money going to the barbershop all the time, because your hair is going to grow back no matter how how fresh the barber lines you up each week or, or once every two weeks, it's still going to grow back. So you might as well learn how to do it yourself. Um, or at least learn how to maintain it until you get a chance to go to the barber. So you can look nice during the week. They hit that barber shop and they'll just knock it out for you. Make you look extra crispy. But um, I just want to thank Wall. These detailers are great. Um, these things are very, very sharp. I cannot stress that enough. Accidentally turned them on. Um, these things are very, very sharp. Um, so sharp that I'm not even going to use my razor and hit it with a razor because it, it feels like I actually used a razor. Be careful putting these on the back of someone's neck, guys. If you're not a professional... You, you will tear somebody's neck up with these. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up. Drop comments. Let me know what you guys think. If you, have any, if you ever have any questions, um, drop a comment and I'll make another video or I'll get back to you in the comments. Peace.